That's a 61 or a C minor 7 at 11. Okay, let's do another 60 chord. All right, so that's a 65 or a C minor 9 at 11. All right, let's execute another 60 chord. Sixty-three, and that's a C minor major nine at the thirteen. Okay, let's play another sixty chord. <laughs> that's a sixty-six, basic C minor chord. Okay, let's do another sixty chord. So this is 62 and also known as a C minor 6, 9, and 11th. Okay, let's try another 60 chord. <laughs> That's a bonus. Okay, so let's break these chords down and I'll also be giving you guys some bonus chords as well throughout this video lesson. So in the key of E flat, we have uh, your basic major scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. And the key to this, if you've noticed, my left hand always stayed the same. It was my right hand that changed. And if you notice here, one, two, three, four, five, six, six is gonna be my foundation. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play what they call a polychord. I'm gonna add a chord on top of the left hand. So in the left hand, I'm gonna play a basic C minor chord. And this works in every key. Okay, so there are a total of five different chords that I've given you guys. Well, really, there's two additional. <laughs> so with five chords and being able to play these in all 12 keys, you have 60 different chords that you can be able to play quickly, all right? And I'm gonna show you how to quickly play those chords. So with this C minor, what we can do is, we can invert it up and invert it one more time. So this is C second inversion. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the C down. So this C now is gonna go all the way down here. All right, did you see that? Here's C and I'm gonna move it all the way down. All right, so this is a C minor, so open voicing, okay? So now let's talk about the right hand or my white ring. So you have a 62. So in the white ring, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play in the E flat major scale. So I'll have a chord for this. I'll have a chord for this. I'll have a chord for this. The three, a four, a five, a six, and a seven. So that's why we get the 61. 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, and 67. Now, you will notice I call the 60 chords in 60 seconds because here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Really, that was less than 60 seconds I was able to do that. Now, you want to be able to play those movements in all 12 keys to give you the 60 chords. So let's break down what I'm playing in the right hand. Now, before we go to the right hand, I would love to encourage you guys to subscribe, to give me a like. Uh, that way you're notified when these videos come out and you're also able to head over to the website uh, to download the bonus uh, footage. And you also get a PDF to study guide to study along with. And also, I'm going to include that it's pretty simple, simple music. I'm gonna give you that soundtrack to be able to practice with as well. And uh, I'd love for you guys to play along with it Tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see what you guys come up with, okay? So again, subscribe, give me a like, and uh, let's jump into this video. I'm gonna go to the right hand or the white ring, all right? So in the left hand, we had the C minor. In the right hand, we're gonna play on the one, we're gonna play a major chord, so E flat. And again, this works in any key, so if you have the PDF uh, study guide, you'll be able to see all the different keys. So in the key of E flat, here is one chord and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the two all right so that's all I'm playing over this first chord and you'll notice that I like to keep the top note as the number so this is 60 
one. So in order to do that, I'm gonna move the one up here. So this is my very first chord. So this is a 61. Um, we also know this as a C, a C minor seven and 11. All right, so it's really quick for me because this is 61. If I'm in the key of C and I do a six and then I do a one, <laughs> you'll see this in the PDF. This is a 61, but this is also known as the A minor seven, 11. And it's really quick and easy to be able to play uh, stuff like this. This is a 61 in the key of A flat, all right? Uh, which is also known as the F minor seven with the 11. Of course, the PDF breaks all this down. You'll be able to create these super simple or super easy, all right? So let's go back to this first one. So this is 61. Let's go to the 62. 62 goes like this. Ah, <laughs> so it's like, how great is our God? Sing with me, how great. Ooh. And I think in the video, I, I went to that to kind of slur into it. So let's talk about this chord. This is nothing more than an F6 chord, or F major six. And I'm playing that over the C. And when you notice, I like to keep the top note with the number. So this is the two. I'm gonna move it up here. All right, so that's a quick and easy way to play a 62 chord. Now again, if we're in the key of C, here's the six, and then the two is here, and we can do this. And what we can do is move it up. So this is a 62 in the key of C. Okay, so now let's go to the three, or the 63. Here is my six, one, two, three, and I play this chord here. Nice little, uh, I don't know, Brazilian, Latina flair to it, all right? Uh, so anyway, let me break that down. That's a G chord over the C minor. And if you notice, in the G, I add a two, and I'm gonna invert it up, because I like to keep the number at the top, so 63, all right? And of course, you have a PDF to be able to find this chord quickly in all the other keys. So I won't waste much time here. All right, so now let's go to the four. One, two, three, four. And if you notice the four and the seven, I included that as a bonus. <laughs> so let me save the four and let me save the seven at the end. All right, so let's go to the five. All right, so here we go. So here is six, which is a C minor. And over that six, I'm gonna do a five. So it's really like a five over six, but I like, I like to call this a 65. So watch this. If you look at this chord, it's really a, a B flat major chord, add the two, and then I'm gonna invert that so that the five is at the top. So there you go, 65. And if I were to do this in the key of C, here is C, and then I would do the minor, one, two, three, four, five, and of course we can put the five at the top, or you can lower it here. Ooh, super rich, all right, this is 65 in C. So anyway, back to this 65. Let's go to the 66, which is the most easiest of all of the chords because it's basically a minor over minor. So here's C minor, and I'm gonna play the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And all you do is just invert that up. So it's basically a C minor chord. And you hear this chord a lot in lift every voice and sing. <laughs> I think I did that movement in one of the breakdowns. So of course, at the end of this video, you guys can skip ahead and see that woo, nice anthem type feel. This is a power chord. All right, so that's 66. Now let's go to the 64 and the 67 because what I did in that one, I did a, let's see. It's pretty simple, simple music. <laughs> so what I did there is 64, here is one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna play a A flat diminished seventh chord over the C minor. So you get the C harmonic minor type of chord. And what I'm gonna do is invert this up. All right, so that's my A flat diminished seventh over the C minor. And then what I did was I rolled it up to the seven. Watch this. And let's see, let's do the same thing. Oh, say, can you see? Woo. All right, so that's a four over six. And then watch this, here's the seven. 
over six. And that seven is just a basic, it's a basic D major chord. And I'm gonna do first inversion, cause I like to keep the seven at the top. So this is 67 and you just play that. All right, so this works for any song. This is when you really want to get gothic, you know, that James Hall type of feel. So like, uh, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved. Woo. And you notice that when I did that seven over six, I also can add a F to roll up and then close out with the 61. Okay, uh, how great is our God, sing with me, how great Woo, is our God. All right, now those are Christian songs. Um, you can also use, I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. <laughs> um, or, you are not alone. That's that 65. So all these movements, anytime you want to go to the sixth chord or to a minor chord, this is exactly what you want to play, man. These are some nice progressions that you can use. And what I'm going to do as a bonus, I'm going to add um, some slow motion footage for you guys. So that way you can learn all the nuances. All right. And, uh, and don't forget to tag me on your IG video <laughs> of you guys playing along with this. It's pretty simple music soundtrack. Um, and don't forget that you can also download the PDFs so that way you can get these chords and a chart uh, figure. So that way those of you who like pictures and you can be able to see the shapes a whole lot easier. All right, so let's jump in. Um, but before we jump into that, I would like to say that I love you guys and today is a new day, a new life and a new opportunity for you to become a better you. Now I would like to say this first breakdown, this is a lick in our upcoming I don't even know what to call it. I'm thinking about calling it unlimited chord progressions. We have a brand new series coming out and uh, Antoine Walker uh, did an amazing job. He's playing every 251, 736, 362, 514, all of those different flat 573, flat 2. I, I know it sounds crazy, but this unlimited 251 chord progression video series is crazy. And that's where I got this lick from. All right. So enjoy. I'm just letting you guys know that we do have an upcoming series coming up really soon. Okay, so this next uh, progression comes from the Transformula series. A lot of you guys have shown a lot of love and support, and uh, that's where this lick comes from. It's derived from the Transformula series. Let's jump in. Okay, so this next one, uh, this next chord progression, uh, really is, it comes from the Transformula series. Uh, it's one of the other uh, formulas that we use to get to the sixth chord, all right? So let's jump into this one. Okay, so this next uh, movement, I like to call it a movement. It's not so much of a chord progression. It's a movement. It's a classical movement. And we break that down. I give you guys this complete breakdown in our diatonic 
piano exercise. It's in our, it's on our YouTube channel. So if you type in diatonic piano exercise, pretty simple music, uh, you'll be able to find how to play this exercise in all 12 keys. All right, so let's jump into it. Okay, so this next uh, progression or group of progressions comes from our newest Expand series. Um, a lot of you guys have shown me love and support on that one too. And uh, so this one here is derived from that Expand series. I add a little bit of other stuff, but really that movement comes from the Expand series. So uh, let's jump into that one. And last but not least is our bonus uh, movement. It's just a basic movement to get us to our, uh, I think we, I actually, I got this, I got this from, <laughs> I got that move from Antoine as well. That's, that's a nice lick that he likes to take to get to the six. But if you notice, he's gonna do a, or I'm gonna do a four over six and then the seven over six. So again, I'm super excited about this brand new series. It's called Unlimited. I don't know if I might call it Unlimited 251 or Unlimited Chord Progressions. But anyway, uh, you'll be able to learn every, literally every 251 progression in every key and he plays it in an unlimited fashion. Mistakes and all, I told him to just keep going. So anyway, let's jump into this bonus four over six and seven over six. And I think I end with a one over six. So we'll call it 64, 67, and 61. Let's jump in. <laughs> 